So next, we have a very long time exhibitor at our show. Good friend. Uh, and we're going to talk to him and say hello just for a few minutes. And then we're going to watch something he's prepared for us. So with that, uh, welcome Rick Hunter from hunterline.com guys it's hunter it's it's uh, hunterline uh, products and, and and but i have rick hunter with us and we have uh, maureen hooks hunter as well hey guys hi hi how are you doing well rick and and uh first one first a little weather report up there how you doing up there well can you see in the window out there um a little bit yeah <laughs> <laughs> <It's here. laughs> we're, we're supposed to get uh down my way we're supposed to get uh oh anywhere from uh, 10 to 14 inches uh starting uh tomorrow morning so oh, wow. <laughs> we'll see what happens we'll see what happens see, see we're usually oh. away in january and february at train shows and here we are stuck here and it's cold and it's snowy i had to send a snowblower in to get fixed so that we could use oh it. gosh <laughs> Yeah, you're usually down with us right about now. Exactly. You know, the second day of the show. Yeah. Rick, tell us a little bit before we go to the video. Tell us a little bit for for uh, viewers. Uh, tell us a little bit what, what what about what you guys do. Okay, that's what the video is all about. But uh, oh, we, well, we don't want to spoil it. But just give us a little uh, overview. <laughs> we manufacture uh, Craftsman kits in N H O S and O and all the narrow gauges. Uh, mostly bridges, uh, trackside structures, and, and so on like that. We also, uh, uh, back when Floco and Poly S and all those guys left us, we started to make our own stains called Weathering Mix. And that is a big, hot product over the past few years. Oh, we great. great. Yeah, I, I, I got to say, when I walk by, uh, I know where you are. Because when I walk by, there's bridges upon bridges, and they're all incredibly gorgeous. They're really nicely done. And I can well, see that you. you're using your own stains on them and everything. God, Absolutely. they are so realistic. It's beautiful. No, it's good. So so with that, let's, let's uh, because we don't want to spoil anything else, but but is there anything else that's not uh, before we go to the video, uh, Rick, anything else you want to talk about before uh, we go there? Well, we, we um, it takes us a long time to put something new on the market, okay? And right now we're looking at uh, doing stock pens because we have oh. access to uh, um, uh, round basswood and all the, uh, the strip woods because everything we do is strip woods from Mount Albert. And, uh, you know, we're trying to decide on the design right now and then sure. we'll go for it. All right. Well, we'll be looking for that. So that's I, great. I should mention, I should mention that um, Al Collins, uh, he, because we're good friends for many, many years, uh, he gave Maureen a sander, one of the prototypes. And really? It was all her comments that urged him to go and produce it. Really? That's yeah, amazing. If you look yeah. carefully in our, our video coming, you will actually see the sander in front of Maureen and she's kind of using it here. And ah! <laughs> Maureen, who knew? <laughs> That's so cool. I, you know, I love the connection with you folks up there. I, 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 I was, was talking off the air just so everybody knows that, that through Rick, uh, you know, an ITLA, and then and then you guys know Al, and Al knows a few other guys, and then and they're all here uh, throughout the the show. So so stay tuned, everybody. But let's die hard, <laughs> Rick. Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it, and I and I miss you this year, and I I look forward to seeing you next year. Um, but let's go to that video. Hi everyone, I'm Rick Hunter, and this is my fantastic wife, Maureen. Hi, everybody. We own Hunterline from Cambridge, Ontario, Canada. Uh, we manufacture Craftsman kits in N, H, O, S, and O, and O and 30, and some of the narrow gauges, too. We've been in business for 26 years. Uh, we like to do shows. We do all the national shows from coast to coast uh in canada and the united states we probably do about 20 shows a year when we can do shows like uh, lately we cannot we're showing some of our displays at a show uh you can see that uh we show all scales and some of them get pretty complicated we'll go into more of that shortly 
We'll show you a bunch of our different kits and, and talk a little bit more about the weathering mix as well. At shows, we do a lot of conversing with our customers uh, back and forth. We learn from them and they learn from us. We, Maureen is always at the beginning, at the front table, uh, making one of our kits right in front of you. And you can come back in a couple hours and see how it's progressing or, or sit down and talk about a certain technique or something. We'll be happy to show you. I've learned so much by sitting at that fun table, just sharing techniques and people letting me know their tips. It's It's been great. Great experience. We do uh, little clinics at the table as well. We'll, we'll uh, run a little weathering mix clinic, um, show you how to distress wood and how to color it. That's always been a fun thing to do. This is what our kits look like. Uh, we have them color coded. Uh, N is orange. Uh, blue is uh, HO. S is yellow. And green is O. We also suggest using S for ON30 because the NMRA specs are exactly the same for those. So we do promote that. This is what our drawings look like. I'm in AutoCAD. Uh, these are very detailed drawings, and they're also used as a template. Okay, so you build all of our kits right on the drawing. Uh, there's a lot of information there, and uh, all the details brought out to you, and, and so on. Our instructions are very simple and straightforward. We assume you know nothing about it. Uh, our first page is usually the history and then a couple pages of the methods and techniques and then into the meat of the uh, project that we're doing, uh, both in text and in images. This is some of our house. These are uh, 86 foot and 170 foot and our piers. This is what they look like on a layout. So that's the through bridge and the deck bridge and the pier in the center. This is a little closer picture of it. And this is our 86 foot deck bridge. This uh, is a good example of all the MBWs that we do supply with them. And all the rods are phosphorus bronze rods. And we do supply the drill bit that fits that rod. We build queen post bridges. This is the only kit that we have that is a uh, we produce in a standard gauge and a narrow gauge because they are drastically different in sizes. That's what it looks like on a layout. You can see that uh, the shakes on top. Uh, these are our own shakes. Uh, they're very prototypical of the time period. Uh, they are random and uh, they look great when they're done. Uh, again, they come in uh, four sizes. The uh, HO, S, and O are actually solid basswood, where the end scale is actually a birch laminate, because we couldn't get the, the sheets thin enough for end scale. These are our trestles. Uh, there's two different versions, a frame version and a pile version. We also have uh, curved trestles, any of our curved kits can, or any of our trestle kits can be made into a curve. We have very detailed instructions on how to do a curve. Any curve you want. This is what it looks like on a layout. We also produce a snow shed. We're one of the few in the world that actually produces a snow shed. This is uh, mile 24 on the Coquihalla subdivision in British Columbia. This is what it looks like in a layout and on a curve. These are our first two designs, uh, the king post and the queen post. That's what the queen post looks like on a layout. We also produce a tunnel liner. Again, this is off uh, a CPR on the spiral tunnels in British Columbia. We also produce a portal and a retaining wall. The retaining wall can be used uh, for double what you see there, or a lot of little ones or some big ones. Doesn't matter. And there's what the combination looks like the portal, the retaining wall, and uh, going into the snow shed. We also produce a little snow fence. This is a great one night project. 
Uh, Maureen does all the weathering mix, so we'll pass it on to her to talk about weathering mix. Hi, the second big part of our business is the weathering mix. And uh, it's the base of the weathering mix is 70% isopropyl alcohol. And we mix different colors of leather dye to get the 45 colors uh, that we have. Four of those colors are pigments, and I'll talk a little bit about them a little later on. They're a thicker stain, so different application with that. This is just what it looks like at a at a show. We've got the little samples of wood above the weather mix to show you the different colors. These um, pictures that you're going to see next are customers who sent in models that they've built using our stains. Uh, the weathering mix works on wood, hydrocal, plastic, paper, foam, fabric, um, lots of different things. You just have to use your imagination. To find out more specifics as to how to apply it, you can go to our website and look at the YouTube there on uh, weathering. This one is a 3D printer crawler, which is uh, out of paper. So this um, this person used sandalwood brown, light gray, and dark brown to get the effect that you see. Looks pretty great. And here's a plastic rail car. Um, this person used a creosote black to just dry brush on different areas to highlight the uh, rivets and the boards that you see there. It really turns that simple, straightforward, plain looking box car into a really nice nicely weathered car which doesn't take much time at all here it is used on wood on basswood there's a little yellow structure there that's using our yellow cream and they've uh, weathered it with our light brown they dry brushed a little bit of light brown here and there under the eaves and up from the bottom and the wall adjacent to that yellow building is boxcar brown and they've used sandpaper to kind of take away some of that stain to give it that weathered look and the little building below the yellow cream one is made with our hunter green. And golden brown was used to do all the framing and light gray for the uh, stairs. This is another structure, the coaling structure, where, where driftwood was used as a base coat. And then someone used the creosote black to darken up the areas where you'd find the grime and grease and sooty areas that you find on trackside structures. So it really, really brings it to life. Here's another uh, neat little structure. Um, this person used driftwood, blue, gray, and raw sienna. And you can see the individualized colors in the strip wood, which really looks great. And you can use it on rock, hydrocal, plaster. Um, this you can, these structures you can use our pigments. We have cottage white cement shale that you can put on the structure first and then wipe it off with a sponge or paper towel. It really looks great for mortar lines. And then this fellow used uh, medium brown and golden brown to do the different colored rock variations. You can use light gray, creosote black, whatever. Someone here has sent in an oil painting where they used our sky blue pigment, which is the thicker stain, and they use that for the sky and the water. Here's a styrene structure that was stained with PT green, and then the basement um, structure there with the strip board is uh, Cordovan brown. It looks like with some dry brushed areas of creosote black. Here's our covered bridge. Um, the shakes really turn out well. I've used a driftwood as a base color and just adding some dry brushing with Cordovan brown and creosote black. And again, the side wall of the, of the uh, covered bridge is a light gray coat as a base coat, dry brush with barn red and creosote black. And this is our tie stringer assembly using driftwood, tie brown and cordovan. I just use different colors for different ties and apply them haphazardly and cover with a black wash. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. You can uh, go to our website for further information or get in touch with us and have fun.